this is right down comical. <clears throat> Knowing I know the truth with what's going on. And she's saying I'm snapping on people. Trying to bring people in the middle of it. Kind of a hypocrite to me. Because, uh, like I said, a lot of people are hating me right now and I don't much give off up. Because everybody thinks it's cute, everybody thinks it's a game, everybody thinks it's yada yada yada. <clears throat> Good question is, she's saying I'm drama, but I'm bringing people into it. I just love how people are being double standards, in my opinion. It just cracks me the hell up, in my opinion. Knowing I know what the hell is going on in secret, that people have no fucking acknowledge about, and then people want to act like double standards, want to put me in Facebook jail because I'm speaking truth. That I have every right to go off on whoever's threatening my life. And this woman thinks she knows it all. She's basically an accomplice with Jay Aldridge and Autumn Largent. And to whoever else is involved. And Felicia Baz. All this paper trail I got is adding up more and more and more. <coughs> I just think it's right down comical. How a female wants to be a hypocrite. And doesn't stay out of my business. And I think it's right down comical. That. Trying to say there's no hell angel women. Yes, there were. My mother was one. And there is a difference. There's a difference between your being somebody's old lady and being born into it. There is a difference. Which I think is right down comical. And trying to get her in the mix of the drama. Straight up. Try to get her in the middle of it. Oh. But what I post about. People say I'm bullying. No. And you want to sit there and say that it's drama. Oh so like I said again. You a hypocrite. You a hypocrite. You're a double standard person. That don't fucking get anything. Of what I'm stating. And basically you're saying it's okay. To whoever wants to kill me. That wants to rape me. That wants to do this and that. So pretty much you're stating. That I can't stick up for myself. Fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> this bitch thinks. She's the shit. But I'm going to tell you something. I already know my truth. And I think it's funny. That she says I'm drama. But uh. She wants to talk crap. Get people in the middle of it. Knowing that other people don't want to get involved in my drama. With people trying to gang stalk me. People trying to do shit to me. Trying to harm me. And that people want to sit there and talk shit. It's because I found out the truth. Everybody's been scattering from me. And this threatening shit upon me has been going on my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I think it's pretty right down comical. That this person does not understand it and does not get it. And I think it's right down comical. She's trying to put... People in the middle of my drama. Pretty much. And. Huh. Funny part is that Autumn's people are trying to add me. 
no, thank you. I don't feel like getting the drama. I don't feel like dealing with it. Because I already know for a fact she already drugged me in my sleep. And knowing that Joe Baz threatened to shoot me first. So it's Joe Baz who threatened me first. And then Felicia was talking mad shit about mm -hmm. killing me behind my back. And Autumn Largent starting to act up. But her people want to add me as well. And I have a feeling they're hiding Autumn Largent out, which they're accomplices. Half this town is hiding her out. Which I think is right down comical. That people just do not know how to stay out of my business. That pretty much you're saying I'm a nut job. Yeah, I'll blast fucking people. Because this threatening shit in my life and people threatening shit upon me has been going on since birth. So you want to keep calling me a nut job. Go ahead and call me a nut job. Pretty much I must be doing something, right? If I'm standing my ground, sticking up for myself and making it damn fucking well and please that they're not going to hurt me. Call me a nut job. Just shows me I know how to stand my fucking ground and I got a damn backbone. And knowing that people cut it off, Uncle Storm said and Grizzly said, no, and people are trying to do the same thing to me. So keep calling me a nut job. You want to keep talking your shit like you know shit. Yeah. You want to talk about intimidating Bitch, people have been doing this to me behind my back for years, since my whole life. And you're talking mad shit knowing that these people have been doing it my whole life. People have been threatening me. People have been trying to do the intimidating shit to me and it doesn't work. So pretty much you just want to keep talking your stupid shit knowing you don't know a goddamn thing of what the fuck's going on. Knowing I have proof of my whole life. So pretty much you're stating right there that it's okay if people want to rape me, people want to kill me, and people want to talk shit. So pretty much you're wanting me to accept people trying to kill me and want to hurt me. Huh. No. Because I know the Hell's Angels family of mine... Will not tolerate your double standard bullshit. They do not tolerate your disrespect. You know what my hell hell angel family would tell me? Stay on my motherfucking ground. Don't let people walk the fuck all over me. Because now these days you gotta have a fucking backbone. Because you got cowards out here, son of a bitches. That thinks... Oh, if somebody threatens to kill me to rape me... It's okay if they do it. But when I stand my motherfucking ground. Like a hell angel. Of Grandpa Storm. Fucking granddaughter of Grandpa Storm. From the Hell's Angels. People want to call me a nut job. Well I hate to tell you this bitch. I ain't going to let nobody talk bad upon me. And I'll be damned. Their disrespect. I'm going to do it twice as back to them. So I think it's pretty ironic. You want to sit there. And stick up for people who threatened to shoot me first. Her dad, Joe Bass, threatened to kill me with a gun first. And then Felicia started talking about wanting to hurt me with Jay Aldridge with rape. So I think you're the nut job. That just needs to stay the fuck out of my damn business. Oh, I forgot. I don't, I don't need no praying. Huh. Pretty much, I don't need help. If people, like, stop their fucking bullshit of threatening, and that's, that's pretty sad. No, I'm going to pray for you, Abigail, because I'm sorry. My Grandpa Storm, I got Grandpa Storm's blood in me that it's not even funny. I'm sorry that you think I'm going to back down from people. 
who wants to get violent with me, wants to disrespect my body, and wants to threaten shit upon me of what happened to Grandpa Storm. That was a hell angel legend. You got me fucked up. And uh, I think it's pretty right down comical. You want to sit there and get in the middle of hell angel business. Which you have no clue nothing about. Which I'm going to laugh when the hell's angels come to your fucking face. And yells at you. For being a nut job your damn self. Because Grandpa Storm. The hell angel legend. Granddaughter. Of the Hell's Angels of Grandpa Storm. That was a legend. Would tell me if he was alive. To stand my ground. And not listen to you cunt of a son of a bitch. Stand my ground. Make it clear. And I got it in me. And I've noticed. When I speak truth. Ooh everybody hates me. I realize that. Oh yeah and another thing. My grandma told Felicia that she was going to bail her out of jail. Oh, but she don't like me. I forgot my grandma hates me because I look like my father, Sammy Mead. I look like Sherry Lynn Williams, and I look like Grandpa Storm. The Hell's Angels were going to raise me, Grandpa Storm himself, until he got murdered. So I forgot. So people... Want to sit there and want to threaten me and threaten me and threaten me and threaten me. And then people want to play games. And then people want to sit there and be pussies and saying, oh, I'm being a bully. I'm having a hate speech. But what about that Emma is retarded? Why is that post not taken down? Oh, I forgot. Because people think it's right down comical. That, uh, people want to start shit, but guess what? My Hell's Angel family would tell you straight up to your fucking face, you deserve everything I say. Everybody deserves a little evil coming my way. Who deserves it? Yes, they can be women Hell's Angels. My mother was one, and I was born into it, so I'm going to laugh the day my hell angel family comes down and tells you differently to your face. Now, questionable on this woman. Why is people not staying out of my business? Real question. Even though you got a warrant out for your arrest, there's people hiding you out in Crawfordsville, Indiana. They are an accomplice. That's alright, though. Not my problem. Then, uh, there's another person that I've been seeing everywhere I go. He's always around somewhere. That's questionable. And I think it's right down comical that I have to sit here and stand my ground because people don't know how to act right. That apparently people think it's okay to pull their shit on me. That no. Grandpa Storm and my hell angel family would tell me not tolerate this bullshit. No fucking more. My hell angel family would tell me. Keep up standing up for myself. And don't let people walk mm -hmm. all over me. That this just shows. That if I'm speaking truth. It's going to scare shit out of people. Because they're in denial. Mm -hmm. And they cannot face facts. It's pretty much what it is. And I know for a damn fact. If Grandpa Storm and Grizzly was alive, they would tell me, don't ever take a bitch's fucking shit. Don't ever take a cunt shit. 
They would straight up tell me, don't ever take nobody's shit, not even from a fucking cunt or a bitch that don't know shit, pretty much. And I'm pretty sure that I have a right to have a backbone because nobody likes being threatened. But I'm going to tell you this, the Hell Angel family, I am the grand granddaughter of Grandpa Storm of the Hell's Angels. I was born into it. And yes, there are hell angel women. There's a difference. You got old ladies. And then you got people born into it. So. I just think it's right down comical. You're calling me drama. But you're getting Jay's ex involved. Hmm. Bitch didn't know that one. So where are you getting his ex involved? And you want to sit there and call me drama. Knowing that I'm standing my ground. Yeah, I'm blasting people. Because you got to. Because if you don't have a fucking backbone, people are going to walk all over you. And I already have a bad reputation. I can do bad all by myself. And just because you think I'm drama. No. You're just pissed off because I know how to stand my ground. I got a backbone and I don't tolerate shit from bitches, pussy ass little bitches, and who don't know facts. I'm just letting you know that. Grandpa Storm, granddaughter of the Hell's Angels. It's not drama, it's proof. <laughs> And it's a paper trail. And I think it's right down comical that you think you know everything and you don't. So, you want to rethink again before you say there's no hell angel women? Oh, yes there is. Yes there is. It's a difference when you're born into it. You're automatically accepted. Because mm -hmm. my mother was one. So who the fuck you think you are talking about the Hell's Angels, about my family like that? I think it's right down comical that you want to sit here and run your mouth. But when I stick up for myself from harmful people, you call it drama. You know, my Hell Angel family might pay you a visit soon, Abigail. And I'm going to laugh my ass off. I'm going to laugh if my family from the Hell's Angels come mm -hmm. to your face and tells you shut the fuck up and calls you everything in the book in the name. I'm going to laugh my ass off. Because again, when you state that there's no Hell Angel women, I suggest you better do your research. Because one old lady or two, you're born into it. Which I think is right down comical. And people put me in Facebook jail. Because I've been standing up for myself. And I've been standing my ground. But people are scattering. And you want to sit there and say I'm an evil person. Hmm. But you forget mm -hmm. to realize, Abigail... People have been doing this towards me since the day I was born. I was at risk since birth. So who are you to be trying to double standard and being a hypocrite to? Because you're calling me drama. So why? I have every right to blast somebody. To prove a point that I'm not going to be disrespected. That I don't care. What people are doing. When somebody has threatened me. Abigail. People usually back off of me. When I start speaking. You want to know why? Because I'm not a pussy ass little bitch like you. Mm -hmm. Oh you need help. You're a nut job. Well I hate to tell you this. This world is a nut job as it is. We're all nut jobs. It takes a real fucking woman to stand her fucking ground towards people who are trying to put harmful shit my way. And I do have the man balls. And I did state to a cop to their face, I will start hurting people 
in any way if I had to because they're not doing shit. Pretty much. I think it's pretty right down comical that you didn't put my name down. If you're going to start talking about me, put my name down like a real fucking woman. What are you scared of? What are you hiding? So I think it's right down comical that you want to sit there and talk your shit. But you don't understand the real reasons behind it. The reasons why I talk about things, it's for a reason because it makes sense later on. So you're just embarrassing yourself, Abigail. Pretty fucking hardcore. That basically you're sticking up for people who are trying to do harmful things to me. And I'm going to tell you this. My Hell's Angel family will tell you to fuck off and screw off. The Hell's Angels won't hesitate to hurt you. Because I'm family. I'm the granddaughter of Grandpa Storm. If they find out you're not staying out of my business, and I keep telling you this, Abby, if you do not stay the fuck out of my Hell Angel business, they will hurt you. And I cannot stop them. Because if you're coming at me, you're coming at all the Hell's Angels as well. If you're trying to say something about me, you're talking about them as well. You're not just talking about one. You're talking about the whole entire world who is in Hell Angel. I think it's right down comical that you cannot stay the fuck out of my business of Hell Angel business. I'm going to laugh. When somebody comes to Crawfordsville and gets up in your face and tells you back the fuck off of me and tells you the truth, what's really going on with me, I'm going to laugh the day and hell, hell's angels surround your fucking home and tells you straight up, you should have stayed the fuck out of my business because I have every right to stick up for myself. So, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Have a nice day.